They cranked it up and let us run. We probably hit 270 around this track. What's up? A lot of influencers. Five. My name is Byron. I am standing right now in the middle of the police escort that we're going to be having. I'm here at the Indy 500. What's going on, man? With the Chevrolet team. It's going to be an amazing day. I'm going to bring you guys along for the ride, so stay tuned. It's going to be kind of like a behind the scenes look because we're going to get a lot of cool access. We're going to be down on the track, so we'll be riding over in these cars. Like I said, police escort. It's crazy here. This is the first time I've been uh, in Indianapolis, first time I've been to this race. Good old Indy 500. So stay tuned, let's have some fun. So here is the lineup, police escort. Whoa! That is the new Escalade V. All right, that's pretty cool. That's very cool. <laughs> nice. Good little spot there. Escalade V out. All right, let's get in our car. Catch up with the rest of the gang. Flashers, headlights will be loose. Police escort. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Step one is a police escort from the hotel. It just makes sense because we got so many different cars. It's be hard for all of us to catch every light. See the lights turning uh, red there, but we're going right through. We got a bunch of cars behind us. A little convoy. We're coming in on 16th Street. As you can see, standstill track of pick over there. Everyone's trying to make it into the race. Team Chevy has got the police escort going down the opposite side of the road. This is crazy. We're saving so much time. We're going to get in there. We're going to get to do a full walk around on the inside behind the scenes. I'm taking you guys along with me firsthand. Hey! You can actually like feel the energy. I'm not just I'm not just like saying that to say it. I can like feel the excitement. We're not even like fully in it right now. We're still, you know, getting into it. The stands are pretty much empty right now, but just imagine when these are filled with several hundred thousand people, it's just gonna be absolutely nuts. All right guys, so we just got here, feet on the ground. This is gonna be a crazy race. I am so stoked. It's gonna be awesome. Say what's up. Hey, hey how's it going? What's, what's up, up what's up? Eddie, say what's up. Hello. Great <laughs> day. Woo, buddy. Have you? It's extremely packed right now and it's not even like eight o'clock, we're, we're here early, just kind of walking around, taking it all in. Just gonna get crazier from here on out. Here we are, back by all the garages. See the race cars in there, little uh, pit vehicles. A lot of the team with the vehicles. Team Chevy, let's go. Right, so again, we're just kind of walking through here. Horsepower on that is. Yeah, they got to do an Indy 500 for those. Yeah. So here's a behind the scenes look at an Indy car. There's inside the garage. Look how fat those rear tires are.
Jack Wheeler. different being a V6, you know, 2.4 liter, whatever the heck it is, 12, well, with the overtake, like 12.3, 12.4, but yeah, today only 12,000, so all, all of our motors make power from like 11.4 to 12,000, yeah, that's it, anything below, yeah, so when we're out there on track, we're between 4th and 6th gear, and the, the speed difference between them is only about 20 mile an hour. You're just trying to keep the motor wound, like, on the limiter the entire time. What's the top speed you'll hit on the track? Um, so top speed on Fast Friday would have been about 243. Uh, today, you probably won't see much over 235. So it's, it's so quick. It's still fast. But there's a big difference between doing 240 something and 230 something. And you can really tell the difference. Yeah. So when we qualify the cars, they're about 720 horsepower. We'll race them today at about 640. Uh, 1,650 ish pounds. Yeah, it's, it's about light. half of the new ones. They're about a little less than half of the new ones. So they're light. Um, six, speed, six speed sequential box. So it's not like your dual clutch. It's all dog gears. So when you jam gears, it it's yeah, it's aggressive. We have a couple in car adjustments. We have uh, weight jackers and roll bars, so we can fully tune the car and drop the rear of the car down the straights and lift it back up for the corners. So yeah, we have. It's like having active suspension, essentially, is what it is. But um, yeah, the twin turbo is about 1.4 bars of boost, so not a lot. If we crank the boost up on these cars and actually unrestricted them, these would probably make about 1,300 horsepower. But they'd probably last about five, six, five. they'd literally last the race and probably explode then. So that's why we're just... Second, right? Yeah, it'll be good. I mean, if they if they cranked it up and let us run, we'd probably hit 270 around this track. 260, 270. That motor's been in the car since 2018, I'd say 2017. Yeah, so it's it's slightly. That car is the car is almost 20 or 10 years old now. It's a 2012. Yeah, I know. So they just keep upgrading it and upgrading it and upgrading it. So yeah, nothing new. Their screen is new. But that's about it. They're towing this one out right now. That's the little thing they used to pull it out in the front when they put that tow strap up there. Very cool. It's awesome, man. We're getting closer and closer to race time and it's just kind of like amping up. I'm settling in. I'm getting like, you know, uh, calm, but it's uh, going to be really exciting. So stay tuned. Take a look at this. People. Pile up. Got to catch up with the group though, but this is something else. Something else. All right, we got a Stingray R on display here. Pretty cool. C8 with the big wing. Heading in right now to uh, Chevrolet room. Got a little hang hangout spot in here. Get out of the sun. Relax. 
Okay, so we just hung out for a little bit, kind of decompressed. I did a couple posts on my social media. If you're not following me on Instagram, at Drive System 5, go ahead and follow me. But right now, I think we're walking over just another section with some of the, the race trucks, and then eventually we'll get up to the Holman Terrace where we're gonna watch the race. So this is gonna be sick. Oh, here's all the, uh, sweet. Here's just some of the, uh, I guess the press, or like the team trucks and whatnot that are out there, and all the safety officers. This is just so cool being behind the scenes of it all. All right, so we're getting to walk into the Chevy racing truck. How's it going? Wow. Hey guys. It's pretty cool. I feel like I'm in an office building, but. Yeah, <laughs> I'm in a, it's a rolling on. I'm in a semi. The track. How's it going, Russ? How's it going? Good to meet you, brother. Nice to meet you. Oh, yeah, good to see you. Yeah. How's your day been? Yeah. Been good. This is crazy. Yes, yeah, yeah, so we got the TV, all the computers, the monitor stuff, different stuff in the back. It's pretty sick. It does not feel like we're in the back of a semi truck right now. This is like high class, the lighting. Man. The lighting is, is like strobing. <laughs> this is very cool. Very cool. Love it. What are your thoughts? This is legit. I did not expect this to be inside here. <laughs> I know. It's very cool. Well, this is the. Uh, we're, we're gonna do like the Men in Black and erase your memory when you leave because this is really top secret. <laughs> As well, we're all recording, is, uh, right? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, but anyway, th uh, thanks for coming. This is we just thought we'd uh, take you out of the heat for a minute and just kind of tell you what we do. These guys uh, have a whole team behind them that uh, engineer and develop and uh, prepare all the engines that power our Chevy Power teams here. Um, and there's a lot behind it that uh, I can't explain. So we had to bring the experts in to talk about that. But um, so Russ, as we said, propulsion Russ. Russ leads uh, many pieces, but most of it is the performance and racing part of propulsion. So, crate engines, all the all the propulsion systems for all our race engines comes out of his shop out of Pontiac. It's a pretty impressive place. Mark Stilo is the director of uh, competition engineering for our GM Motorsports team. Handles IMSA, IndyCar, drag racing. Best in the desert. What am I missing? NASCAR. 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 No, not NASCAR. 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 Everything, but basically everything but wow. NASCAR. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And then Rob Buckner is the uh, program manager over IndyCar, so he's the one that does the day to day, and makes the stuff work. All right. So we just checked out the team trailer, learned from all the engineers and the racing people. I mean, they are just brilliant people, and it was just uh, too too smart for me. But I definitely learned a lot. Now we're gonna head over to the grid, take a look at all the cars there kind of get settled in before this race starts. Hey right, guys, we are in the thick of it. We are behind the regular fence. Got all the race teams down through there. Here's the actual grid. Cars are coming in. People are lining up. The stands are starting to fill up. This is absolutely insane. One of the drivers up there. This is something else, man. All exclusive access. What more could you ask for? We're literally like in it right now. This is just epic. I can't wait to see these stands filled with just 350,000 people. That's something else. Look at that guy. Yes, take it today. Let's go. I love you, Ricky. Right, so we're at the start of the start grid down to here. We're going to make a lap all the way back down to the pits. I'll show you guys a little bit of behind the scenes of some of the markings where the cars will pull in when they get their pit stops done. This is crazy. All right. Off they go. Very cool. So, take a look at this. It's pretty sweet. They got some markings here on the ground. This will come in for the pit stop. <laughs> That's a funny little shock drawing, but I think this tape obviously helps them, uh, you know, visualize where to pull in and where the stop box is, essentially. And, uh, this crazy cool again to see and like you know be feet on the ground and experience it all so I guess they have different colors for different teams and it all seems to be the same pattern though where they kind of pull in and where they stop and then we'll uh, fear up fuel up through here this is just absolutely awesome getting to see it I'm uh, happy to bring you guys along behind the scenes look at this the setup on this is just Crazy! It's just absolutely, it's, oh, it's overwhelming, honestly, just trying to think through it all. So we'll eventually get a lap down here and walk through the grid and see how the cars lined up. We are on the track right now, walking through the grid. People are starting to fill up the stands. Eventually, I keep saying that, but eventually it's going to be packed. I mean, it's supposed to be 350,000 people here. You can just feel the excitement. They got all the cars 
lined up down through here. Got the little, uh, got a slight, maybe a heat shield so it doesn't get too hot. It's uh, gonna be pretty killer, man. I am uh, just so excited. As more time goes by, I get more and more excited. A lot of influencers here. A lot of people uh, getting cool pics. Checking out what's up. Team Chevy taking a picture right now. Is it just the coolest thing ever? What's up? Yeah, this is uh, insane. It's just, the people just keep multiplying. I mean, I guess it's just getting closer and closer to race time. So, But there's a view of the pits. And then where we're going to be sitting is going to be right across. So we'll get a good view of them coming down the street. I am uh, just extremely grateful to be here. This is an incredible opportunity. All thanks to Team Chevy. Check this out. This little setup here, pulling down the top of it. Is that, is that to cool it down in there? Nice. Um, got the band over here getting ready. We're out now. Out of the madness, into the cool for a little bit. And we'll get watching this race. Guys, take a look at how nuts this is. Look at the perspective of just how massive this track is. Wait till we go up to the fourth floor, you'll get a good perspective up, up there too. But so far, all we've seen is that little corner and it's just seriously so crazy. Fourth floor, media stand right now. And take a look at the view. It's nice and cool in here, air conditioned. Luxury, this is the, the light. Yeah, bro, say what's up. Let's go. <laughs> all right, we're heading through the tunnel right now. Gonna go check out where we're sitting. We're taking the elevator up to the Holman Terrace Club and Suites. Should be pretty sweet. The gang's all here. Most of the gang. Most of the gang's all here except for who's not. So we made it to where we're gonna be sitting. This is absolutely insane. You truly get a perspective just for how sprawling this place is. This race, let's show Team Chevy. They're finishing up their parade lap. We're gonna get to watch some of the pit changes here. Z06 pace car that I rode in yesterday is coming in hot. Let's check it out.
play there. Dixon's in first place right now. You have a full go. Crazy, crazy. Team Chevy, let's go. Yellow flag pit stops. so sick when they're coming straight out of the pits or like burning the tires. So we moved down from the Holman Terrace down to the ground for a minute and it's crazy down Oh no! It's a whole other perspective when you see it. That is nuts. Down, That's crazy. Right. Currently walking through the tunnel now to get to the media center. It's kind of silent through here. It's going to be like insanely loud because we're going underneath the track. But I guess it's insulated enough to where you can't hear it. Getting ready to head up to the top floor. Take a look at that. Just pretty sweet. All right, we'll see what's up. Gives you a good perspective. Just how insane it is. I'm gonna go over there on the left. But take a look at this, guys. This is absolutely wild. We got a few Z06s over there in the lot. And a lot of people, there's a whole golf course here in the center, which is absolutely Insane. See all the race trucks back there. Look at that. You get just tons of people just all over this place. A sea of people. That's amazing. Alright, this is it. Final lap. So we didn't take home the victory, but this was seriously one of the best experiences of my life. Team Chevy hooked it up. I love working with them. They're one of my favorite brands of all time because they just treat you so right. I mean, this is like the royal treatment here from start to finish. I had an amazing time this weekend. So thanks again to Team Chevy. Be sure to watch my other video if you haven't already with the Pace Car. Appreciate all the love and support, guys. We'll see you guys in the next video.